A Southside Jacksonville mother of three is thankful that she, her family, and the family's pets were not hurt when a bullet came crashing through the roof of their home. And this is a picture of the bullet after it penetrated the ceiling before ultimately coming to a rest on the floor. It happened the night of New Year's Eve. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier is joining us in the newsroom to explain what happened here, Eric. Jacksonville police say the incident was the result of celebratory gunfire, which is not only illegal, but downright dangerous. Now, thankfully, that family is only dealing with property damage and not loss of life. What goes up eventually comes back down, and that's what police say happened New Year's Eve night when this single bullet came crashing through the roof of a home inside the Secret Cove subdivision. This is a picture of a hole created by the bullet after it penetrated the ceiling and landed on the floor. We have been asked not to identify the home address or the homeowner who was with her three children and two house pets when the bullet came crashing through. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says it was a miracle no one in the house was hit. He also says this is an example of the amount of velocity behind a bullet falling from the sky after it was shot into the air. And it's going to come down about 200 miles per hour with force that's able to penetrate a roof of a house and end up inside that house. Jefferson says every winter, just before New Year's Eve, law enforcement warns gun owners about how dangerous and unpredictable it is to shoot into the sky to celebrate the holiday. In fact, JSO posted this particular warning on social media on New Year's Eve. It doesn't matter what direction you're shooting in. If you shoot straight up, if you shoot at an angle or, or a certain degree, that bullet is going to land somewhere. To shoot it in the air, to celebrate the New Year at the risk of taking someone else's life is very dangerous. And it could land you in jail facing a charge of reckless discharge if caught, and even manslaughter if your reckless discharge leads to a person dying. This will happen. And right now, police have no that bullet was fired from. Reporting live in the newsroom, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.